so welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build today i'm building the skylar mansion first of all sorry for the hamilton overload on my channel right now it will calm down a bit in a few weeks but i have more hamilton stuff coming up first of all this is the first part of the skylar mansion build so there's more hamilton builds coming up there's also more creative sims coming up and my let's play will be sort of starting on Saturday. So lots of Hamilton at this moment, but it will calm down and my normal videos will return and my Let's Plays will continue and there will be more creative sims and other builds. But for now, I'm really excited about this one. I'm building the Skylar Mansion today. I did some research on the houses from the like 1700s, 1800s sort of area. And I actually ended up finding the actual Skylar Mansion I believe because most of my research is like you know Wikipedia level like <laughs> I haven't read any books or like check the facts or whatever it's not like school research I just just like whatever research it's probably fine it doesn't have to be that accurate but I think I found the actual Skylar mansion so this is where the Skylar family you know Angelica Peggy Eliza mother father you know siblings and all of those lived i think <laughs> again i think it's not but i decided to build it and um the first thing about the style of houses in the 1700s and 1800s is that it's pretty boring so i'm really sorry about that it will not be the most interesting build ever uh, but it's interesting to see what kind of house they lived in uh, and it's fun to do like an era build sort of inspired by <sighs> You know a thing in history and we all love hamilton i think the majority of you either found me through the hamilton series or through my toddler thing that i did um like a week ago uh, also if you're new here welcome thank you for subscribing if you're been a, if you've been a subscriber for a long time thank you for supporting my channel for a long time and you know all of that stuff <laughs> Great, great at thanking people. Uh, you can, yep, you probably figured that out for a second there. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I was just sort of, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm weird. I'm sorry, but you probably already know that. It's also kind of fun, right? Sort of, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> But anyway, it's inspired by the Scarlet Mansion, by the way. It's not completely the same. I changed some things just because I wanted to make it look a little more pretty. Uh, but I tried to keep it as accurate as possible. Um, and that means lots of, like, just rectangle boxes. And um, I guess the style was sort of like... Is, is, that, is the real name for it, like, colonial? Or however you pronounce that? I think so. Uh, I also made the entire world. I will show you that show you that in my first episode of the Let's Play, or like sort of the explanation episode that will be coming up probably Saturday. I hope Saturday, and then the actual Let's Play will start on Tuesday. Um, so some news on that. Uh, I don't think um, I don't know if you've seen the Hamilton Let's Play trailer. That's up on my channel. So if you want to go watch that, it's sort of uh, it's a little bit of a sneak peek of the series. I worked really hard on that. It's so funny that that is the shortest video on my channel, and I worked the longest on that because it was so much editing stuff and like an hour of recording and you know figuring things out, finding music and. <sighs> It took me a really long time to figure out this let's play. Um, so go watch that if you haven't seen it yet, because I think it turned out really, really nice. It's a little bit laggy, but you know, forgive me for that, hopefully. Um, but anyway, so I think it's like the colonial style or whatever. The entire world is sort of in that style, but I think a lot of the houses are more like colonial, if that's how you pronounce it even, I don't know. Um, revival, like a newer style inspired by that, which is a little bit more interesting and more pretty in my opinion. Obviously that's just personal preference, but I like that more. A bit more interesting stuff happen happening, um, not as boring, I guess. <laughs> Although I do have some uh, more traditional houses that also look really nice. Uh, and I downloaded everything off the gallery, so <laughs> thank you to House Creators in The Sims for making awesome houses. I also downloaded Mount Vernon, um, that's how you pronounce it, right? Like the Washington thing where he lived. Um, 
such a good job on that. Seriously, that creator did such a good job. I wanted to build it on my own and I just wanted to look if anyone else had done it and I was like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do any better than this. So <laughs> there's basically no point. So I downloaded that. So you can also see that in my trailer if you want to. Um, I will try to find most of the creators and feature them in the first episode, but I am afraid that I will not remember everyone, so I'm really sorry. <laughs> I don't think you're watching this, but if you are, uh, you notice me not featuring your name in one of the videos. Um, I'm not giving you credits, please let me know and, and I will check it out and see if I actually have your houses in my world. Not that I'm showing this off in this video, but I wanted to say it in case I forgot later. But anyway, the colonial style, however you pronounce that, is sort of like rectangle shapes, like really basic shapes. Um, those like borders around there that you can see on the top those those were featured a lot um lots of like fences around the top of buildings and then just like simple roofs nothing special and i feel like that's just because it was more a necessi necessity is that the word like it was necessary to build houses at that time since they were like new in America, I, I guess. I don't know. I don't know most of the history. I'm really sorry. Like, I know more about European history since I am from the Netherlands and from Europe. So we learn more about European history. Uh, you learn, if you, you take like history for the full six years that you're in school, you'll learn more about the American history. But I like dropped history after three years or something. And then I guess also what was really big and featured a lot were those. Um, windows with the um, I, I guess they're called shutters or something the like the panels next to them the, that you can put like close that was like really big so i used all around this house i used them because it's just nice for decoration since this is literally the shape oh also really big chimneys that was a thing too but this is like this is it <laughs> this is all there is to this house and i built a pretty pr pretty um what's it called uh, accurate like accurately made this as the it looks pretty much like the original that's what i'm trying to say i'm so sorry <laughs> english is hard for me sometimes like i don't know every single word since it's not my first language i actually got some comments that people didn't notice that i'm dutch like yes that's like a really big accomplishment for me because a Dutch accent is really noticeable and really hard to get rid of and I've wanted to get rid of it for such a long time and I think it's getting there now I don't think I'm like you can hear that I'm not like completely English English is my first language but I think my Dutch accent is sort of fading a little which is so nice and um a week ago my dad told me that i sound really like american <laughs> which is like a really big compliment for me because dutch accents like i said really hard to get rid of and really noticeable and then you i mean lots of dutch people can speak english really well i think most people of my generation can speak english um but they just have a really awful accent, which makes them sound like they can't speak English very well, even though their like grammar and um, vocabulary is pretty good. So I'm, I've been trying to get rid of my Dutch accent. And also I've been trying to learn how to switch languages faster, which I think I'm really good at at this point. I think that's the biggest improvement because before I started doing these videos, it took me like an hour before I could actually speak English fluently without messing up all the time. And now I can just speak for hours. Like I could speak Dutch for the entire day and then just switch to English like that. It's just like one second and I can speak English. Uh, but there, there are days, mostly when I'm really tired because it does take some mental strength or I don't know, ability for me to speak English since it's not like, it's not nature to me. It's not second nature quite yet. It's just like something I need to think about. So when I'm really tired, it's harder for me to speak English. So my let's plays that I recorded late at night are the hardest for me because then I mess up. But I think that's kind of funny. And you know, sometimes I just don't have time to record during the day or it's busy in my house or you know my family's house and everyone is running running around and walking in and out of the kitchen but i am going to decorate my room uh differently so i'll be able to record in my room i will do a video on that on i don't know it's like thursday tomorrow then i guess no 
No, this is the video that's going up tomorrow. Saturday? No, but Saturday is Let's Play Day. What? Next week. Next week I'm doing a video on that. I'm going to be showing you what my room looks like now in a room build. And then uh, what I want my room to look like. Sort of, you know. Using the furniture that we have in The Sims. Ooh, I got a new expansion pack. I got the um, uh, Vintage Glamour expansion pack. Um, no stuff pack. It's called the stuff pack. I don't have the Vampire pack yet. But I needed the um, Vintage Glamour pack for my Let's Play. Uh, since, you know, there's really... There's pretty, like... So many rich people <laughs> in my Let's Play. Skylar, family, Washington, um, Alexander will get rich at some point, I think. I don't know, it's not like... You'll, you'll uh, hear me explaining more about the Let's Play in the video coming up on Saturday. But So I'm not going to be explaining too much. But I got the Vintage Glamour expansion pack. Um, <laughs> shouldn't have, because I don't really have the money. Uh, Probably a bad decision. Uh, probably should have bought clothes before I bought a stuff pack. But um, I keep t I keep calling it an expansion pack. It's not an expansion pack. It's a stuff pack. So it's only like 10, 10 euros or something. I don't know. I guess the vampire pack is like twice as much, which is which is, it's fine. But I sh should I need I needed this for the last play because it just felt accurate for them to have butlers or something like that. Um, so this is like an addition to the last play and vampires would mostly be for myself because i have been getting questions if i um, i'm going to make a vampire let's play but i don't think i would have since i am starting a new let's play the hamilton let's play already uh and i planned that before like the <laughs> vampire pack um came out or i mean i i knew when the vampire pack would have did you know the the release date was like known but you know, <laughs> things happening. Um, whatever. I already have like three less plays and a fourth less plays is, is a lot. Like four less plays in a week. Even if you make videos every single day, that's a lot. So I, I don't think I would have made a vampire less plays anyway. Um, and I'm a little iffy on the supernatural thing. I don't know. I like how The Sims is now. And maybe I'm just afraid of change. And maybe it's the best thing ever. It'll probably be a lot of fun. And I probably will get it. But I think I would rather save up for like a pets expansion pack or like the seasons of pets expansion pack then get this vampire pack now and i also really want the dine out pack that's something i've been saved no well, not saving up for but like something i've been wanting to get so i don't know vampire is just low on my priority list this is literally almost it by the way it's not really much happening on this um shape thing i'm just putting in some trees and then the video is over but i just i thought it would be fun to build a um you know, like an accurate house, like an actual house from that time, since most of them are just inspired by the style or like colonial revival and sort of like the new style. And it looks kind of like vintage inspired, but they do have like phones and computers and everything. So I will explain more about this in my <laughs> explanation video. But for now, this is it for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Goodbye!